right. Um, it's not really my story of integration. It's, uh, it's a story that we can all use to reflect on our integration journeys. So today we, we're talking about integration and alternative ways of thinking about what is integration. And one of the things we've mentioned already is integration is a two-way agenda. And the story I'm going to tell um, kind of brings the concept of the two-wayness of integration into relief or makes it clearer. So the story I'm going to tell is not mine. It's a story that an old man somewhere in Ghana, in a place called Cape Coast, told once to his grandson, and it stayed with his grandson. And many years later, I met this grandson while I was doing interviews for my, for my PhD. And this is a story that I was told while I was collecting data. And I'm hoping that you will see the sense in this story. So here's the story. The grandfather said that one day there was a toad, and you will realize it's a story you know. So there was a toad, and it was a hot afternoon, and the toad wants to cool down or calm down. And so the toad sees water and thinks it's a pond, and it jumps into the pond to cool down. The only thing is, it wasn't a pond. It was literally a pot with water that somebody was going to use to cook something. So then that somebody puts that pot of water in, in, in Africa, in the villages, you have the three stones, and then you put the fire on, and then you put the pot on it. And then the toad realizes that the water is getting warm. But then the toad had a special ability. It had the ability to adapt to the growingly hot water. But there's a caveat. The toad can adapt only up to a certain point. As it adapts, it uses up energy from within it to be able to adapt. So if it adapts for too long and the water keeps heating, as in the heat doesn't stop, the toad eventually would die. So the toad needs to be very good at deciding when to jump out of the hot water. That is, if the heat is not ending. So this story has two possible endings. The toad could jump out at some point, or the toad could stay, and the toad could die. So when this person told me this story in the, while I was doing interviews. He was, he was saying that he uses it to kind of reflect on his own capabilities and capacities as a migrant while integrating. He keeps asking himself, am I close to boiling? So here's how it breaks down. The toad is me or any other migrant. The water that is heating is the context you enter when you migrate. So in this case, that's Finland. Finland is the water that you potentially jumped into expecting it to be a cooler place from the hot place or the hot feeling that you had. What heats the water is a number of things. It could be the language capacity that you don't have. That's what makes your water gets hot. And the more you don't learn it, the more you apply for a job and you don't get it, you keep feeling that water getting hotter. But as a human being, you're equipped with certain capabilities, so you can adapt. But then again, remember that you're not a superhuman. You can adapt, but it would be good to know at what point should my adaptation tactic potentially change. At what point should I jump out? And when I talk about jumping out of the hot water, in this case, yes, the hot water is Finland. Or Finland is the water that is getting heated. So jumping out, I am not saying jump out, get out of Finland. Jumping out could be many things. And this is the other part of the story of the frog having the capability to decide when to jump out. So you constantly hear about resilience. Resilience is your ability to, to take and take and take and withstand. But resilience is good. Resilience isn't always the thing you should turn to forever. So you can be resilient when resilience is needed. But there is also something called reworking. And sometimes there is also resistance. So reworking doesn't mean get out of Finland. Reworking means find a way to make things work for you. So find the things that are making the water hot 
and try to make them stop heating your water. And this is where the two, -way di uh, the two direction integration comes in. Who can help reduce the heat of this water? So this can be the Ministry of uh, Employment and Economic Affairs. This could be Migri, this could be police, it could be anyone. So as a migrant, you're listening to this story, you are the toad. As a representative from a ministry or from wh wherever you have more power, you are the ones who turn on the heat to the water where the migrant is. So what, el what could we do? But also remember, what could we do differently so that at the end we are not boiled frogs? Because boiled frogs are not good for anyone. It's not good for the frog or the toad, and it's not good for the water where the toads are dying, and then they start smelling, and then things go bad. So yeah, that's my little story, and I hope that you find sense in it as you evaluate your own integration and as we go into the discussions about integration in the labor market or wherever. Any place can be a hot water and any place we can find toads. So thank you.